The concept of using high-energy and directed lasers for naval military applications is gathering pace among the world's superpowers. If successfully developed and deployed, laser weapon systems might be rewarded as game-changer for defending Navy surface ships against enemy missiles and UAVs. What naval laser weapon systems are currently in development or operational ready? And what are the benefits or disadvantages of these brand new technologies? These are the questions to be answered in the remainder of this video series. Lockheed Martin reported it is pushing ahead with its effort to deliver two high-energy laser and integrated optical dazzler with surveillance systems to the US Navy in 2020. Helios will provide an additional layer of protection for the Fleet Deep magazine, low cost per kill, speed of light delivery and precision response. Additional Helios systems will accelerate the warfighting learning curve, provide risk reduction for future laser and weapon system increments and provide a stronger demand signal to the supply base. Next on the list of top Navy laser weapon systems is Russia's 5P42 fill-in system developed by state-owned company Rus Electronics. The capability claims of the 5P42 Philip are both remarkable and terrifying. The system is designed to disrupt enemy combatants' eyesight at night and preventing them from targeting a protected platform. Besides that, it is also capable to suppress night vision devices, laser range finders, anti-tank missile and other electro-optical sight systems. It was first unveiled in December 2018 and its naval version is currently being deployed at the Admiral Gorshov class frigates. The following one is the Kratos ANSEQ-3. The ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system built by Kratos and developed by the US Naval Research Lab is a directed energy weapon. The weapon was installed on USS Pons for field testing in 2014. Initial testing of the LAWS laser weapon system, which cost around $40 million to develop, saw the system successfully destroy two small metal targets on floating platforms as well as a target drone. The infrared beam from a solid-state laser array can be tuned from high output to low output. At high output, the laser can destroy targets, fry sensors, burn out motors and detonate explosive material. At low output, the laser weapon system can dazzle enemy combatants and cause them to turn away from threatening positions. Furthermore, the lows can shoot down small UAVs in two seconds and can destroy motors on small boats, thus disabling them and mitigating the threat. A significant advantage of the laser over projectiles is the low cost per shot. MBDA's Dragonfire is UK-built laser directed energy weapon currently being developed by the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory on behalf of the Ministry of Defence under a $30 million contract award. UK Dragonfire is a grouping of the best of British industry brought together to develop this advanced and complex new programme for the UK Armed Forces. Benefits of the Dragonfire laser weapon include affordability, precision and adaptability to existing technology such as Leonardo's beam director. This technology brings together Kinetic's powerful laser emitter as well as world-class electro-optics for target identification and tracking. MBDA is bringing prime weapon system delivery, experience and advanced weapon system command and control and image processing capability to UK Dragonfire in addition to coordinating the overall effort. Well, keep in mind that Defense Web TV has more than 1,400 videos on its YouTube channel. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell here under to be informed of the latest defense and security news.